What's up viewers? Today I hate my life because I have to wake up early for the stupid ass teaching meeting that I have every freaking week. Everything is awful. Everything just sucks when you've nay slept enough. Mm. Why on earth is it so freaking cold out there? Oh my god. Goodness. Oh my goodness my friends. So not sleeping very much last night was a bit of a risky move and I am dreadfully exhausted However, I am just absolutely killing it right now in terms of <clears throat> How like focused I am on stuff I've been thinking about this paper pretty much since last night and all the way today And I know exactly what I'm gonna write about so as long as I have the energy this evening I'm fairly certain that I can finish it tonight uh, Just got out of class uh, Haven't been to class in a long time. So I, I, don't, I don't know it just it's a very strange conundrum where I'm like completely exhausted because I didn't sleep but like I predicted yesterday I'm a lot more on point like I'm a lot less lethargic I'm a lot less like Ugh. like I'm exhausted and I really want to get to bed and that desire to get to bed is pushing me to actually like finish all my stuff on time which is really cool uh, so it's kind of like a weird situation I don't know what I, how I feel about it but I'm gonna go to my next class because I'm already really really late uh, I'll see you guys after oh! <laughs> my goodness it's the uh, the mind body problem where my mind really wants to do a lot of stuff, but my body is like go to sleep. Is so tired. Oh. Okay, I have something due at 5 p.m. that I'm almost done with, so I gotta wrap that up real quick, and then I need to finish my paper. Oh no, I have to go to class between 5 and 6 and then finish my paper. Uh, I'm probably gonna go to bed real early today. Uh, We'll see, maybe around like 10, 10 p.m. or something, but sorry for the weird check-ins today. Probably going to have to edit a lot of this out. Uh, all right. Wish me luck, my friends. Mm, my friends, I have submitted my final project proposal. Uh, it took a little bit longer than expected because I had to finalize all my resources and stuff, but I finally submitted. Now it is almost 5 o'clock and I have to go to my philosophy section. Now... Let me tell you a little story about philosophy. I've been kind of complaining about it a little bit uh, because like every single time I go to it, I'm just like, it's a huge waste of an hour of my life. Let me explain to you really quickly why that's the case, okay? So for the past, I think four uh, classes, we've been discussing the topic of uh, intentionality. Now, let me explain what the, what the conversation here is. So the argument that this author is presenting is that if you are adding, say, 57 plus 68, what does that equal? I mean, obviously it equals 125, right? But this author claims that if you have never added numbers that are above 57, then it is possible that what you have been doing previously is not addition, but a quadition. And quadition is this function that he makes up that essentially says that whenever you add any numbers that are bigger than 57, the answer is automatically five, okay? Uh, so let, let me give you an example. So, so this guy says that under quadition, one plus two equals three, 10 plus 20 equals 30, 50 plus 50 equals 100, but 60 plus 65 equals five. 100 plus 200 equals five. 300 plus 700 equals five. Any addition that involves a number that is bigger than 56 will have to default to five. That is his like function of quadition, okay? Now assume that you as a person have never added a number that is bigger than 56. What this dude is arguing is that you have no idea whether you've been doing addition or quadition. So you have no idea that in this instance you are intending addition or quadition because you don't know what you've been doing in the past. That, that is what he's arguing. And so for the past four classes, just, just think about this, four hours, what we have been talking about is whether or not you have been doing Audition or quadition, okay? And there are like really obvious objections to this because like, you know, when you add things, you can literally, you know, take a pile of marbles and another pile of marbles, put them together and see what you get in total, right? So you can take 57 marbles and 68 marbles, put them together, how many marbles are you gonna get? 125, obvious, right? This dude says that instead of counting marbles, we are going to be quounting marbles, which essentially says that anytime we have a pile bigger than 57 marbles, we default to five marbles. This, this dude is insane! And all we're talking about in this class for four hours for the entire past week is this 
ridiculous idea of addition and quadition just to prove some sort of point about intentionality. Now, it's all like interesting, you can debate it, it's like, it's things to discuss, but four hours of this crap is just the biggest waste of life, okay? You guys saw my video a couple days ago about all the stuff that I have to do. Ain't nobody got time to sit through useless discussions about quadition or addition, okay? I know what I mean when I say addition. I mean that I'm adding two numbers together, okay? This is driving me completely berserk. Anyway, it is currently 5.02 p.m. and my section for this class begins at 5 o'clock. I'm gonna go over there. Hopefully we're done talking about this quadition rubbish, but uh, I will let you know how it goes. I'm sorry I uh, vented here a little bit. That was a really long uh, splurge, but I just I just had to get that off of my chest. Just the stupidity, the absolute stupidity and waste of time of this philosophy class over the past couple weeks. Whew, okay, I'm gonna go to section. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Peace out. All right, my friends. So that wasn't uh, nearly as bad as I expected it to be. It was actually quite useful. We didn't talk about the stupid quadition crap I was bitching about earlier, but uh, we were talking about stuff that was actually kind of relevant to my paper, which is really useful. So I just got back from dinner. I am going to sit down, uh, probably take a bit of a break, like maybe a 30 minute break, uh, just hang out a little bit, then uh, sit down and crank my paper until I go to bed. Uh, I'm going to finish it tonight and submit it tonight before I go to sleep. That's kind of the goal. I got my tea, as you can see, I'm already halfway through it, but uh, this should keep me up keep me going and then I'm gonna go to bed early like I said uh, in around 11 p.m. or so and uh, wake up tomorrow for a brand new day so I will uh, see you guys after I finish the paper I believe peace uh, my friends it is done I am more exhausted than I thought was possible and I think it might be me crashing from the tea as you can see I am barely uh, holding my eyes open here <laughs> Anyway, holy crap, this paper took a lot longer than I thought, but I'm done. I finished my paper, yes. Holy crap, uh, I mean, it's still is going to require editing, um, but I'm probably going to leave that until the last day. So it's due next Monday at midnight. I'll probably sit down maybe at like 10 p.m. or something and give it like a two-hour edit through. Also, I got um, my previous rewrite back. So the first paper I wrote, which was the first vlog on this channel, uh, I got a pretty bad grade on. They gave us a rewrite for it, which I rewrote from scratch in like three hours, and I got like a marginally better grade on that, which I'm pretty happy with. So I kind of cranked this one out as well, not in three hours, it's taken me a grand total of about six or seven, which kind of sucks. Uh, it's going to take about two more for editing, but uh, feeling pretty good about it. It's like, I, I think I've got the concepts there, I just need to really tighten up the language. Um, yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm kind of like rambling on because I'm pretty exhausted right now. I am going to wrap up this vlog and go to bed. It is past midnight. It's actually 1 a.m. right now. Uh, so <laughs> I'm only going to get to bed at about 1.30 a.m. or so because I'm editing these vlogs. Also, my hair is completely ridiculous and so is my face. Okay, uh, that's all for today. A uh, very productive day and I've been exhausted all day, which is very interesting. Tomorrow I'm sleeping in until probably about noon because my first class is at 1 p.m. So uh, that's all for me for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this kind of wonky vlog. It's probably gonna be very long. I'm gonna go edit this up. I will see you guys tomorrow.